Hi, I'm Robin, and today I'd like to talk about pulling actions. So pulling is very important because most of the time when we start exercising, a lot of us are trained to do push-ups. So push-ups, again, you will have a rounded upper back, yeah. And coupled with the fact that when we look at our handphone or we use our computers, we're doing this. So we tend to have rounded shoulders. So pulling action is necessary so that we can help to pull back and get our posture back to normal. Okay, so rather than having round shoulders like this, we wanted to have it a bit more neutral. But in order to be neutral, you need to have balanced strength in your push and your pull. Okay, so there are various ways to do the pull exercises. So I'm going to show you a variety, and you can use a variety of equipment at home. So first thing is, let's say for example, you could use a window latch. You need to imagine it's a window latch. You hold onto a window latch, put your hands here, and then pull yourself forward here. Okay. But this may be a bit too simple because the angle of your body is not that steep. So the steeper your angle of your body, the more difficult it will be. So for example, if I use this thing called a TRX, which you can anchor to a door, to a door or to a ceiling, and here. So notice here, look at the angle of my body. By adjusting the position of my feet, okay, I can be more inclined. So the more inclined I am, the more difficult it is. I find this too difficult, I can always go backwards and my body becomes less inclined and then it becomes very easy. Okay? So you can adjust the level of difficulty such that you can get the degree of difficulty that you want by changing the angle of your body. If you have a low bar, you can also use something like this here and then pull here. So as you can see, there are various ways to do it, to use different equipment uh, to get a pulling action. So these are focusing currently on horizontal pulling. Later in another video, I'll talk about vertical pulling, like pull-ups. Okay? So let's talk about the technique of how you do this. So the posture, first of all, you want to, you want to have the shoulders downwards. Okay? So shoulders downwards, and then we hold our rows, and then if we lean back, so we are more or less a straight line, maybe slightly arched. So your backside is squeezed and shifted forward here. Okay, so this is that one, making sure you get the posture correct here. Second thing, so the shoulders are not up, shoulders are down. Okay, second thing is to retract the shoulder blades. Pull the shoulder blades back without bending the arms. So this get used to this action, so this is step two. Step three, once you get to here, bend your elbows, bring your chest towards the top, and then you're done. Then release. Come back and relax. And then do the same thing. Make sure your shoulder blades are down. And then pull your shoulder blades together. And then bend your arms. Okay? Now when we actually do that, we don't really do this. We don't really pause. We actually merge everything in one smooth action. So I start here, down. As I begin to pull, pull, and I straight away do that. So one smooth action. Yeah? But it's still sequential. You still start the pull from the back first. Start the pull from the back and then pull your chest towards the handles. So another way of training the, the rows is to use one arm. So we call that unilateral training, meaning using one side. Okay? So what we're going to do is the same technique as what we do with two arms. The only difference is we hold it one arm. But then, because of that twisting effect, you need to use more core engagement. So I grab the things, I go here. So maybe the angle may not be so much. So make sure I don't turn my body. I twist my body so that it is still parallel here. I pull my shoulder blades back and I bend here. So this one arm thing may be useful if you don't have equipment. So for example, this is my window latch. So I find this, I use two hands, it's like I can do a lot of them, I can do 20, 30, and I find not much of a muscle activation. So what I can do is, I use one arm. So it becomes tougher. Yeah. Yeah. So the other way of making the roles more difficult and more challenging is to change the angle of your body. So as mentioned just now, you can actually step forward or step backwards. 
But sometimes after a while, there's a limitation to how much you can step forward to make it more difficult. So what you can do is to elevate your legs. So for example, I can use the chair to raise my legs and extend my body. Yeah. So I'm changing the angle of my body to more inclined. So that again makes it more difficult. So that is the rope. Yeah. So uh, you practice enough and get used to it, and you become stronger. That gives you a good base also to go on towards to do the pull-ups. Although pull-ups is vertical strength, but you still work a lot of these pulling muscles. They somewhat will help your pull-ups. And later on, in another video, I'll show you specific exercises to help you get a pull-up.